G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller. I'm excited to announce that I've just released my new book, The Principles of Training. So the principles of training basically are the principles that all good horsemen and horsewomen use to be effective in the training of horses. And if you can understand the principle behind a technique, it helps you to be able to invent techniques of your own. And so what I'm going to do is, you know, I put videos out on social media quite a bit. And so instead of just putting a video out about something, I'm going to put a video out about something and I'm going to refer to which principle I was using in that, that video. And so I just recently went to help load a horse that has a past history of being a little difficult to load. This is not a bad trailer loading horse by any means but it's usually a bit of a struggle and so I'm going to show you a bit of footage of me getting her to load and I'm also going to talk about the principle behind it but the first thing I want to talk about is you know I'm a big believer in you create your own reality and everything is a Everything you see is a reflection of your perception. Everything you hear is, you hear it through a certain lens, through a certain perception. And so the, the principle I'm going to talk about in this video is the principle of make the wrong thing hard and the right thing easy. And a lot of people think making the wrong thing hard is about punishing horses. And so if your mind works that way, if that's the way you perceive that, you'll tend to use that principle as a... Um, like a license to to be hard on your horse and, and punish a horse. And if you tend to not like using pressure much with horses, you will tend to judge me because I said I use the principle of make the wrong thing hard and the right thing easy. But that would be your perception. That would be you projecting what you think it means on to me but that's not what I think it means and I'll show you in this video and so this mare I have <laughs> I created some of this problem because in the past I used to put quite a bit of pressure on horses teach them to load and I've actually helped this horse load many years ago probably seven or eight years ago could be the last time I did anything with her could have been even longer than that and as you probably know if you followed me for a while my views have changed a lot in the last seven or eight years so Something that could happen on a horse that might be hard to load, if you were trying to load them on, on pavement that might be slippery, there's something that could happen. They could slip and fall over. And so what I did, so the place I went to pick her up has some pavement there. So what I did, there was a round pen in the arena. I pulled the round pen to pieces and I drove the truck and trailer into the round pen so that there was sand right there. So that's the, that's the first perception flip right there by parking the horse by parking the trailer on the sand I made it hard for a horse to slip and fall on pavement but there's no pavement involved there's no punishment involved it's not about making the thing hard it's about making it difficult to achieve she can't slip over on the pavement if she's not on the pavement so I've made the wrong thing slipping over on the pavement hard and that's a bit of a stretch, but I'll, I'll give you the, the next bit. So all I did was, with her, I led her up to the trailer and I just stood in the trailer. I didn't ask it again. I let her stand at the back of the trailer. And when she looked away from the trailer, so her head turned away from the trailer, so her thoughts were not in the trailer. Her thoughts were outside the trailer. I just picked up on the lead rope gently until her thoughts came back to the trailer. As soon as her thoughts were back in the trailer, I released that's all it is. Making the wrong thing hard and the right thing easy is about, it can be, if, it's, if it, there's any pressure involved, it can be about a comparison. And so when she was looking away from the trailer, there was a little tiny little feel on the halter. And when she was looking in the trailer, there was no feel on the halter. So that's the difference between the hard and the easy. Okay, there's a tiny bit of pressure when she's thinking away from the trailer and there's no pressure when she's thinking in the trailer. And that's all I did with her over and over and over. And I stood there for quite a while with her. You know, I think in the past, I think she's probably a horse. If you want to have an argument about her getting in the trailer, she would give you one. So if you want to apply pressure and try to make her get in the trailer, you'd probably have an argument. But all I did was I wanted her thoughts in the trailer. That's the right thing. And I, didn't, I don't want her thoughts away from the trailer. That's the wrong thing. Okay. 
And so all I did was make the wrong thing slightly more difficult, or there's a slight bit more pressure, there's a slight bit of pressure when she's doing the wrong thing and there's no pressure at all when she's doing the right thing. And eventually she just climbed right in the trailer and there was no pressure to get her in the trailer. And so that was a, that was a very subtle use of make the wrong thing hard and the right thing easy principle and hopefully that might change your thoughts about what's actually hard and easy we actually made a bumper sticker up a few years ago that said make the wrong thing hard and the right thing easy but we we did that did it in such a way that some of the words were really big and some of the words were really little and if you were not up close to it all the sticker said was make things easy and that's all I did right there. I made it easy for her when she was thinking in the trailer. And if you can get a horse's thoughts to think in a certain direction, they will eventually, their feet will follow. So it's all about getting their thoughts. But anyway, that's a very subtle version of make the wrong thing hard and the right thing easy. And like I said before, that principle right there just comes down to your perception if you think that is a bad principle if they, you think that's a terrible way of doing things or i've had a lot of people say you don't you don't need to make the wrong thing hard and the right thing easy that's them projecting their perception of that principle that is you know that principle you can you can interpret it any way you like and if you want to interpret it as a license to be tough on them when they're doing the wrong thing, that's in your perception, that's what that principle means. But that's not what that principle means in my perception. So I hope that helps you. And uh, yeah, I will, as I make different videos, I will talk about the principle behind the actual technique that I'm doing in the video.